<clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky. Today we are going to do the first um, layout, the double page, with this Bootacular collection from Close to My Heart. It's this collection right here. Cute! Now, I don't have any pictures, so we're just going to make this, and I do have some photo placement holders. I can put some of those on there until I get pictures, because it's not Halloween time yet. I don't think I'll be able to put Riley's photos on here, because she's going to be a princess, and this is more not. So, I do have some nieces and nephews, though, so we'll see what kind of things they wear for Halloween this year. So I have already went through and cut everything and I even did some, I even did some, what's it called guys? Coloring. I even did some coloring and stamping and coloring. So it wants you to use, it says to use the light side of the lemon. It says prepare pieces as shown above right here and these is these are the pieces that had to that I colored right there so I've already done that part and it says use light lemonade cardstock for base got that attach 1a 1b 1c and 1d so 1a we can go look back at our cutting guide. I'm pretty sure it's just a piece of white. Nope, it's gray. 1A, it's a three by four and a quarter piece of gray pebble. Three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Nope, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. It's going to go right here somewhere. Then 1B. It's going to go right around here somewhere. And it says 1C, which is another piece of the pebble. It's going to go right here somewhere. And then 1D. 1D is a journaling spot. And it is orange. It's going to go right here. I don't know. I kind of like the yellow side for journaling, but yep, it blends into that too much. All right. So we have to go one inch down and one inch in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, that's about an inch. About an inch. Then I will attach these. This is going to be, see it says right here on the instructions, one inch down, one inch in, one inch down, one inch in. And it's like, it's nice that they're having you do the corners first because then everything else will just fall into place. So I'm going to turn this off and put those down. Okay, so now that we have all the corners in place, everything else will fall into line. So it says, attach 1E, 1F, 1G, 1H, and 1I. And those are the rest of these little pieces that will make the grid, right? Like that. And so our grid is made, yay. Okay, just put these down. I might cut this part out, I'm not sure. This probably won't take too long because I mean, everything falls into place. <laughs> so how are you guys 
been how have you guys been doing jim and i haven't been back to new york for very long we got back tuesday i think it's now the following saturday so we've been back for a few days he came back with some funk i don't know what he got but i'm trying to stay away from him because <laughs> he is coughing and it is gross and uh -uh, he got some new york funk on him I'm avoiding him. I can kind of hear something going on in my in my um voice, but I I'm hoping it's allergies, not whatever he got. So when I'm doing this, it is Saturday. I I have haven't been up very long from my nap. I've been taken to for some reason. I've been really enjoying naps on Saturdays. That's my new hobby: naps. This looks freaking. I sure do. I sure do. I might have cut it crooked. I never did get my dang trimmer fixed. Maybe it's the orange one that's crooked. Who knows? It's staying this way. Now, like I said, I am not going to be putting um, photos on this because I don't have any just yet. I just really wanted this stamp and I really wanted <laughs> the uh, thin cuts. And I just, it looked like so much fun. Um, when we went on vacation, I had stamped out some of these images before leaving and I took my markers with me and did a little bit of coloring on vacation. So, which is helpful if you're doing a kit like this that you're actually following the directions. I don't always follow the directions. I like to do like a mix, right? Sometimes I wanna follow the directions and sometimes I don't, but you guys know that if you follow my, um, my channel. All right, it says draw a border with a journaling pin three quarter inch from edges, then accent with brown gray marker. Okay. What kind of pin we wanna use? Go with the thin one. All right. Should we do freehand or should we? I'm just going to freehand it, and I don't know if it's going to be right or not. It's going to be whatever distance it is. <laughs> no measuring. I'm so lazy. Today, I, um, I was doing that 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off, you know, cleaning, and then and I think I got like two or three layouts done I wasn't feeling it they weren't my favorite that's why I started doing this because I mean I just didn't have any sense of what I wanted to do so this is the brown gray so it's that accent with it. it looks like they draw over it I didn't have any sense of what I wanted to do so I thought I would do this because then it would be easier if I just follow directions, right? Well, that looks horrible. Alright. I was getting stuck. The last one, the last layout I did, I was really stuck on. And, um, yeah, it didn't turn out so good. And then it says, um, stamp stars with intense black, black ink. So I already got my star stamp out. I already took the star stamp out and put it on a block. And I'm not actually going to use the intense black because I don't know where it's at. I'm using Versafine. That's a big no-no. Okay, you're supposed to stamp the stars and one star here. Oh, cute. And we'll do one star. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, let's 
so cute. Okay. And then it says attach photos. And again, no photos. Um, I have these. get some removable adhesive to put this down with and I'll be back okay I used this ad tech removable tape to put these down um, just in case I don't want to put a photo over it you know maybe my photo might be a little less than three by three or maybe you know I don't know in this case I want to take these off when I replace the, them with photos then it says to put your title up with foam tape. They made the title Fright Night. And I'm doing it exactly like they did it. I got an extra pack of this. So I got an extra pack of the Spooktacular and the stickers. So I'll go off on my own and do stuff too later. Like I said, I was having a hard time today scrapbooking. And, um... I just, I needed to do something that I could follow directions on because my brain is not working. Did any of you guys do that, um, join up for Nicole Jones's class? That Scrapathon 4? I haven't taken her, any of her Scrapathon, any of her classes, period. But my friend Shannon, she went and, um, did a video today and she's putting together all these pages for a page kit for that class and then now I'm like man I'm gonna have to take that class because my friend Shannon's doing it <laughs> do any of you guys do that when your friends starts um you know does something and you're like oh man and you feel like you're left out so you have to do it too like when your mom said, if they drop, if they jumped off a, a bridge, would you jump off a bridge? Nope, but I'd buy a scrapbooking class. <laughs> yeah, I had never taken any of her classes, but I think I'm gonna. I think it'd be pretty fun. Now I put these acrylic nails on before we went on vacation because apparently my fingers are delicious and I can't keep them out of my mouth, which is ridiculous. A 44 year old woman and I can't not bite my nails. I don't I don't even know what the problem what the problem is. But acrylic nails you can't it's hard to do stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna leave them on or not. I haven't decided. I need to decide here in the next week probably because it looks like it's time for a fill. So put that right like that. And then it says attach zip strip accent. So the zip strips, isn't that cute? That's what uh, Close to My Heart calls their um, manufacturing strips. Love that, love that zip strip. Okay, so this one goes right here. Attach the zip strip and then it says tear off a bit of each end before attaching, you know, to make it look all raggedy. And then it says attach journaling strips. So again with these, I'm going to use that removable adhesive. And when they did theirs, they kind of bounced them back and forth a little bit. I'll probably do the same thing and then it says embellish with stickers and remaining accents as shown okay. Boop. now I know 
they got this little feller. The little feller right here. He's so cute. I'm so proud of myself coloring him. Ah, thank you. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Um, they take one of these sticker pieces. And uh, put it down like right like here-ish. Actually, let me go this way. I put it like right here-ish. Super cute. These little details like this is um, things I need to implement on my own, my scrapbooking that I do myself. That I make up, you know, myself. Like that. Super cute. Then I got this. And go through. That. Then I got this little feller that I colored, and it's amazing. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. You're so cute, mummy puppy. And right there, then he's got this boo coming out of his mouth. And he is holding this pumpkin. Um, the boo, I'm just going to attach the bottom part of it because you can see it kind of overlaps the photo. So I need that photo to slide under it. So I just put the adhesive right here. And then the little pumpkin. Right here. Little mummy is carrying a pumpkin. Boop, boop. Um, okay. <clears throat> then we have to put down our journaling strips. I kind of don't want to put those down. But I kind of do because it will remind me that's where the journaling goes. I don't know. I don't know. What else did they put over there? They put some candy pieces. They put some candy pieces. They use this one. And like I said, guys, I'm doing exactly like they did it. Candy piece. Candy piece. You hear my husband out there sneezing his head off? Poor guy. Candy piece. Sneezing his head off. It's not funny. Kind of is a little. I'm gonna put some foam tape under this little sucker. Alright, I'm going to decide what I want to do with them journaling strips, and then we'll come back and do the other page. The other page has a big photo on it and a bunch of little 2x2s. Um, two the 2x2 two two photos, uh, they don't have photo placement holders for them, which is fine. So, I put that one up on some foam tape. Alright, I'll come right back. Okay, now we're going to get started on the second page. It says to attach one J and one K. So we have this one and we have this one. So it goes an inch in and one and a half inches up. 
<clears throat> so we're gonna go an inch in. And one and a half inches. to go down one inch. Look at that. And hopefully it'll be straight. I think I might have, um, I think I need to get a new T-square ruler. I think I might have bent this one. It might be, I might, I might have overused it to get my stuff crooked, you know. My son's always grad. This one's gonna go right about Then it says to put this on it right like that. <clears throat> Says attach one L on the top of one K. Okay, wants it to go down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think when we finish this, I started watching Call the Midwife. I've seen some of it before, but I just started watching it again from the beginning, just so I can have something in the background running while I'm doing stuff. I like to, I don't want to have something running that I have to pay attention to. So, something I've previously watched before is perfect. But I think when I get done with this, I might, I might edit a couple videos. And then I'll probably just do a little scrapbooking or prepared for load. Because today when I'm doing this, it is 9.28. So load is coming up. I said I was going to make some page kits and I still haven't done that. It says attach one N to one M. So I think one M that Hold on. Sorry, when I did the cutting, I had cut one of them is seven and a half by five and a quarter, one's five, seven and a half by five and a half or something like that. And I put them in the wrong boxes. I mix those up on accident.
Okay, guys, sorry. I had cut that wrong, like a ding-dong. Um, it happens. It was just black cardstock. Now, I didn't have any other close to my heart black cardstock. I've used it all, but I did have some other brand floating around, so that's what we're using on this, this time. Because I messed up my cutting, apparently. Crazy. Sure did. Okay. Then it says... Attach 101P, 1Q. Well, I have to attach this. And then I have to attach... All these little things. So let me put this down and then come right back. Okay, so we're gonna put these down. We're gonna put these down, but first let's go ahead and do our doodly thing. But when you do these, um kits you don't really have to read the directions the way I do I just kind of do that as a demonstration so you, you um you will know or see how easy it is so that's the only reason I do that on these videos it's just for people who are maybe beginners they can see truly how easy it is to um scrapbook scrapbook with these um kits if they don't want to do their own thing okay we're gonna have to do some stamping on here so i don't think this is the next step but it's what i'm gonna do and stamp some stars. Ooh, I made a mess. And then we'll take our citrus marker and color it in. I'm going to go with the dark, I think. This is interesting, coloring it on gray. Or this is actually, this cardstock is called Pebble. Excuse me. I have to put my face right up in anything when I'm coloring. And I'm not the best colorer. In fact, my hands feel super shaky tonight. I don't know what that's all about. I think it's because I take a nap. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, my hands are like, ooh, for some reason, it's weird. Weird, I tell you. So we've got some more stars that are stamped down around this area. So we'll just go ahead and... Shoot, mess that one up. Then these are going to come down here, like around here-ish, I 
think I might put this down too low because you can see that in the example, it's, um, there's more stuff showing at the bottom. Either that or I cut these too big, whichever. So they're supposed to be two and a quarter by three and a quarter. It's two, a little less than two and a quarter according to this. And three and a quarter. So, I mean, hmm. I don't care. It's fine. It's fine. Um, they had an example. They kind of dressed these up a little bit. They dressed these up a little bit. So we're going to do that too. This is the same strip I used for on that previous one that had the dog. I'm not measuring, guys. I'm just I'm just gonna put them down. Hope that they're straight. If they're not straight, you might not be able to tell because the um, these are gonna go down crooked. See, this is what happens. <clears throat> like there's something I want to I want to edit a video and start watching that show again <laughs> so I get in a hurry look I don't have enough left well shucks alright um, hmm. interesting I do have another pack. I've probably cut too big of a strip off when I did that other one, but that's okay. Remember, I have another sticker sheet. Let's find it. Okay, I did not have another sticker sheet. I thought I ordered two. Oops, I thought I ordered an extra sticker sheet. I did not. I do, however, have this piece of paper so we can like maybe put that at the bottom, I guess. I guess that's what happens when you don't measure. Well, when I do the rest of them, I'll probably find out that this isn't really extra either. <laughs> That's okay. I do know I have another one of them papers, so that'll be fine. <laughs> When I went away and put some of those down, I did also put this photo placement guide on there as well. So we'll just have to have these like that. What do you think? Or you think they should all do that? I mean. I'm like I'm all with that. Let me put this on the rest of them. Okie dokie. We are back. Let's see. So then 
we are going to use this cute little pumpkin right around in here somewhere and we're gonna use this cute little pumpkin right around in here somewhere and then we are gonna use this cute little hat it's gonna go on top of the pumpkin right there now I don't really want to stick these down yet because I want to put some foam tape on the back then we're gonna use some stars now I want to make sure that I don't really I want to make sure I can put pictures underneath there and then we got some disgusting candy corn it's really gross See, all of these are actually on the photos, so I don't really want to use those yet until I get the photos, right? You need to keep those for later. Same with this one, because it might mess up my photo. Yeah, I'm going to have to get photos for these as soon as possible so I can use my things. So then we're going to do some of these handy dandy enamel dots right around here somewhere we got some right here I'm put that one on the black I'll put that one on the black too and I got one that goes right in here that Yep, like that. Okay, let me get some foam tape so I could put this cute little guy right there. Maybe if I use my um, AK Success powder tool, I can powder off those stickers and use the removable adhesive on it. Maybe I will do that. Let me put um, foam tape on here and come back. Okay, I couldn't find my powder tool, so I just took the stickers and stuck them to my skin. And when I get the pictures, I can glue them down with different adhesives. So that's cute, right? Yes. Uh, I just need to find the photos. Here we go. Super cute. It's exciting. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I do. Like it, like it, like it. All right, guys, here you go. I just need to find me some of photos. Maybe I'll go back in Facebook and see what my nephews were doing last year. And put some down there. I know they went to a trick or treat thing downtown. So probably have photos of them there. All right, guys. I want to thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you for project number two next time. Bye, guys.